talking about whatever I fucking want. Well, today I came across this video that was posted on TikTok. And keep in mind that this is not from TikTok originally, but from a Facebook video. So, a rude ass customer explained that he was sitting for a half hour at the Taco Bell drive thru in Niles, Michigan, waiting for food he ordered, and instead of calling or even emailing the Taco Bell corporate headquarters, he recorded the obviously very tired Taco Bell employee who was tired and this rude customer says that he is nodding off on drugs which to me is a mischaracterization he made against a poor helpless employee who was overworked in the restaurant that was clearly understaffed. This is at the Taco Bell in Niles. I'm sitting here waiting for my food. And this guy. Looks like this. This is horrible. This is ridiculous. If you are sitting here at the Taco Bell in, in Niles, Michigan. Why didn't you call the no, Taco Bell corporate headquarters? Why? Were you in a hurry to go somewhere? Or what? Because the first responsible thing you should do when you see something, when you see something that is wrong with, with the Taco Bell employee is to call the Taco Bell corporate headquarters, not record them, catching them as if they were falling asleep on the job. This is the Taco Bell in Niles off 11th Street. Bro, are you good? Yeah. What's going on with you, man? Sorry, man. I've just been working. I'm no, we're waiting for food, man. You got a whole line. You've been sitting here nodding out at the drink machine, man. Yeah, I feel that, bro. Just... Bro, you should probably not be working right now. I feel that, bro. It's just been a long time. Nah, man. No. What do you mean, man? Dude, we're waiting for food. I get We've that, been sitting yeah. here waiting. Why not go to the Taco Bell in Lansing, which has six Taco Bell restaurants there, or how about Grand Rapids, which has eight Taco Bell restaurants, or even in Novi, Michigan, which has three Taco Bell restaurants, instead of sitting here waiting. That would be the smart thing to do. Yeah, man, and you're sitting here nodding out at the drink machine, so who's making the food? Yeah. Like, I, I don't understand what y'all are doing. Like, for real, y'all come to work like this? This shit is fucked yeah. up. I promise, all we're doing is 
making this nah man you guys are on drugs this is not the employee's fault he just tried to tell you several times now that it's been a long night like like he said there's only two people working at a Niles location in Taco Bell and again he completely mischaracterized this guy by saying he and his co-worker were on drugs when they aren't. No, uh, I swear to God, I don't... Dude, I got you on video, bro. Yeah, I get that, but no, bro. I put that on everything I love. I don't do drugs. Look, can I get a refund? Yeah, what was your... What was your I'm cool with doing a refund. But I'm gonna be real, yeah, bro. It's just the two of us. Here. Man, no, dude. Like, two of you are standing right here. Nobody's back there making food. Look, this guy is telling the truth, and you refused to accept that because you think you can magically see who's on drugs when this employee just said that I don't do drugs. You just refuse to listen because all you care about is your stupid food, you fool. You had the spicy no lettuce, the number 10 with the large amount of dew. Yeah, man. Yeah, I got you. I do apologize for that. It's just every weekend, bro, it's just me and him. Every bro, I don't weekend. care about that. I ordered food and I've been sitting here for like a half hour. Like, you guys are fucking on drugs. Again, they're not on drugs. Also, you should care. Why? Because this is this happens every time that one particular restaurant is short staffed and Taco Bell corporate is responsible for hiring more workers. So at least they have the restaurant running the more than two people because two people cannot get every customer orders done on time and plus the Taco Bell and Niles will have two people be overworked for more than 12 hours all week long which is why you should call corporate and address this to them instead of recording on your phone and posting it on Facebook for everyone to see and again he and his co-worker are not on drugs. How many times do I need to repeat? Not on drugs. No, you cannot sit here and say that. you're in a bro, can you give me my money back? Yes, that's what I'm doing right now, but I can promise you that. No one's on Bro, I've been watching you nodding out. Yeah, Just because he was nodding out doesn't mean he is on drugs, okay? It means that he's tired. Why are you not understanding this? But I've just had a long week, bro. No, man, I've had a long week too. I'm trying to eat and y'all knuckleheads are in here on drugs. Dude, just for the love of fucking God, Go to another Taco Bell in Michigan if you're that hungry, you bozo. I just don't want to argue with you, but I can promise you, I don't be doing none of that type of shit. God damn. I just don't be sleeping. Alright, uh, so just to make sure, it was the number 10 with spicy potato taco, right? Yeah, man. Okay. It's gonna be a refresh. Uh, but yeah, bro, I apologize for that. Dude, don't apologize to me. Go get help, man. You need some help. You need some help, dude. Help of what? Being sleepy? Yeah. 
Yeah, the mic open. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Alright, bro, I get that. But I, I promise you, nobody's back here doing drugs. Who's that? And then, uh, who's that? Uh, I'm sorry. Do you want to drink at least? I can go to the street. Get some help, man. Alright, do you want the drink though? Because I'm cool with giving you the drink. I you got the me? drink. Right. I'm sorry about that, bro. I hope you have a good night. God, that was absolutely insane. Wow. This poor, exhausted employee was being so nice and honest with you because he had a rough week and all you did was that you showed no compassion at all. You didn't even feel sorry for the employee and just because you told him to get some help is, isn't how it works. You don't get help after being exhausted at work all week long. You were rude, you were careless, and you were stupid. I have never gone into any of these restaurants in general to see a rude customer be horrible to an employee in person. And I'm not the only one who thinks that you're a horrible person. Now, there's this guy who's explaining his experience of how he worked at three jobs in the past. Yeah, man, and you're sitting here nodding out at the drink machine, so who's making the food? I know this is the Cal Socialism account, but I gotta say something about this. So, backstory on this is that this guy thinks this kid is on drugs and everything because he's like nodding out, etc. And the kid goes, no, I'm just exhausted. It's just the two of us working this late night shift and etc. You can see how tired the dude is. His eyes are really dark. You can tell that he's just exhausted. Now, I used to work three minimum wage jobs simultaneously, one of which was at the late night shift at Taco Bell. I was working three minimum wage jobs because I was trying to pay for my college education and my housing and all my food and medication, etc. I'd work from 5.30 in the morning to 2 p.m. and then go to class and then start my other job from 8 to 3 a.m. and then start the cycle all over again. And this consumerist only cares about his food, not about the health and safety of the worker. Have some compassion. It's really hard. Now, here's this guy who called out the rude customer recording the video. You know. Oh. No, we're waiting for food, man. You got a whole line. You've been. It's been a while moving and stuff, but we're back with this bullshit. So the backstory on that is basically there's this guy at Taco Bell that notices a kid nodding off in the middle of work and assumes that he's on drugs. And like a few things there. So whether or not dude is on drugs doesn't matter to me, because I want to focus on the thought process of the guy recording the video. My issue is that guy's very first instinct was to expose the person working. Now, whether you believe it's drugs or not, I want you to try to get out of your own, like, perspective for one second. If this guy is on drugs at work like that, there's a, a working that minimum wage job, there's probably other stuff going on, whether that's financially, emotionally, mentally, how on God's green earth is recording that man and ruining his life going to, one, help him in the future, or two, help your food get made faster? Like, do you understand? Like, it's literally just a pettiness thing. Like, it's literally just, I want to see this person suffer because I didn't get my food on time. Like, there is no, like, compassion. There's no empathy. It's this whole caring mentality of, oh, I didn't get what I paid for, so I don't care about the circumstances or the workers. I'm going to do everything in my power to get that thing. And if I can't get that thing, then someone will pay. And, like, there's a delicate balance between the two, because I'm also like that. 
we are paying too much money for everything. So yes, I believe I should be getting the most out of that. But you have to keep in mind the people that are doing those things are probably overworked and underpaid. Not even probably. 110% guaranteed underpaid. And I don't care how much you make, you are underpaid. So it's finding that balance, right? And petty shit like this is just so disgusting to me. Because it's not actually helping you. It's just hurting the other person. Lastly, that person has probably never worked that kind of service job. Because they do tend to overwork you. And especially working late night shifts, you can just be that tired. I worked till 3 a.m. last night. But I had the means to get food, to keep myself organized, get coffee, all of those things. Some people don't have the means to do that. So is it that far off that they're tired? And are you willing to ruin someone's life off the assumption that they're not? I don't know. Just felt like a wild decision to even post that video. Exactly. It doesn't help the employee at all. And it doesn't help him nor his co-worker make the food faster. This rude customer was so worried about his food only that he didn't show any compassion and empathy just to post that video on Facebook. Plus, employees like this don't get a bigger raise for being overworked because Taco Bell or any workplace in general will only underpaid an employee who wasn't supposed to be working, working ex extremely late throughout the night. He should be going home after work earlier. Guys, if you're one of those customers who only cared about getting your food that you ordered because you're hungry and you don't care about how struggling it really is for a fast food restaurant employee to do their job in a in an environment where they're short staffed maybe you should be the one to work there and see from that employee's perspective as to why that employee is telling you his experience while literally working at the job that they're exhausted because there's not enough people to be working in that particular restaurant area. Maybe don't make the employee's day worse than it already is because middle class workers are mostly vulnerable to an ex and ex abusive, exploited situation that they can't escape because the corporate bosses can make you work throughout overnight while that person withdraws from his sleep period in order to sacrifice just to build up his or her own credit score in your torture of being overworked and underpaid. Call out corporate and demand they hire more employees instead of doing these evil layoffs which could have caused this mess. Thank <laughs> you.